I am the full stack developer, which I feel very proud of. There's not even a junior in my title, which is really cool. I've been a teacher for more than 15 years. After coming back from the pandemic, I was so excited going in thinking, great, this is the moment when we rebuild what we want to have. That didn't happen. Um, and that broke my heart a little. I believe so much in technology and embracing it. It was at that point I realized like, I got to get out and make sure that this like educational tech gets more opportunity in front of teachers and students. There were some things out there that didn't exist and I could build them if I knew how. So I started um, just teaching myself, but I found it really difficult to feel confident in what I was learning. I came to Women Who Code. I applied for a scholarship and I was able to get it. And I really liked it because it wasn't all video, which is great because I am a mom. And a lot of the times there is Paw Patrol or Marvel or something going on in the background. And I can't listen to a video and like really listen to it. I think the, the best part of the program itself for me is the community. Um, I made a lot of friends. Very first meeting that we had in the full program with my cohort was all of us on a screen together. And that was pretty rad because then it was like, oh, this is real. This is really happening. These are real people. I had a system where I would get up at five every morning, even on the weekends. And between five and seven, I was back on the computer. Um, and that's pretty much how every day went for um, almost a year. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Very helpful. Um, having a mug you really enjoy is very helpful. So like, I only use this one when I'm coding. Um, because I'm a magical unicorn and I need to remember that I'm a magical unicorn at five in the morning. Um, my kids definitely had a lot more time on Minecraft than usual. I really wanted to change careers. I really wanted to pursue this. So because it was important to me, it, it was important to my whole family. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, so sorry. My, my doggy wanted to to say hello. Oh yes, that's very nice of you. Thank you. I probably would send out between 30 and 50 applications a week, but I came across this job and I was like, well, there's probably no way I'm going to get it because they were looking for somebody a bit more um, skilled than I was. But at the same time, why not? What are they going to do? Tell me no. I've had hundreds of people tell me no at this point, but I wanted this job so bad. As an educator, it's like working for you know, Google or Disney, like it just, it's that level. It was between me and two people and I was going to be crushed if I didn't get it, but I did. So I got it. And it was just, it's my dream job and I love it so much. It's a remote job. So first of all, I don't have to drive anymore, which is dope. I work for an amazing company called Learning Ovations Incorporated. It's a testing platform, but the best part is that behind the scenes, the algorithms, all of the databases, it's able to identify down to the minute, like what instruction category a student needs and how long. It's amazing. Coming from special education, the number one question is always, well, how do I know how long they need? I don't know. And this product is the answer to that. For right now, while I'm still learning all the code things, I can still be incredibly useful. It's pretty bizarre. I sit in design meetings, just like in um, code challenges. We all had to work together to build um, a, an MVP, a minimum value product. It was the exact same process at my job. So it was so wild. I'm sitting in this meeting and they're showing me the figmas and they're talking about the things and they want to know the CSS and the pixels. And I'm like, I already know how to do this. <laughs> That's awesome. My boss talks about me um, and in these meetings, like, like I'm going to be there forever, which is great. It's so like, it really inspires a lot of confidence. He tells me things like, you know, yeah, but when you're a tech lead, how are you going to want the people reporting to you to do this? I'm like, oh, a tech lead, oh. Uh. And it's wonderful. I, it's changed my life.